Hey everyone, I'm back and I'm so happy I got my first Amazon Flex order from Whole Foods Market. Stick around and you can see me deliver my orders and a couple were even by the ocean. So that's really neat. Hi everyone, my name is Russ and welcome to my channel. On my channel, I'll give you tips on how to improve your earnings and ratings for food delivery companies. And I'm happy to say that I've been able to be on Amazon Flex, that's the newest addition to the portfolio of apps that I deliver with. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to subscribe and that way you'll know when I come out with new content. So today, I marked myself as available and then an order popped up and it said I only had like 45, 60 seconds to decide. And of course, as you know from my previous video where I was uh, doing my rain along, haha, I wanted to just do any order. I didn't care what it was. When I got to the store, I knew a little bit of what to expect because of watching Chad's video, you know, from GigTube. You should check his channel out. So I did bring in two carts with me. Um, and it took a little bit to observe the front to see where all the packages were. And I did ask another Amazon Flex driver to help me. She looked like a pro. She had her own uh, necklace that the or lanyard that the phone would hang on as you scan. Anyway, and looked like she knew what she was doing. And I think I was just really nervous because she clearly showed me in the app that I was looking in the wrong section. There's the freezer, there's chilled, and then there's the ambient temperature. And I was looking in the wrong spot. I think I was just so nervous um, it being new that I needed to take my time and be more thorough. But overall, I did fill up both shopping carts with the groceries and that was a lot. Good morning, it's my first time doing Amazon Flex. I was a few miles away and I got here and uh, I need to be better prepared. There's a ton of bags, 23 packages, trunks full, back here is full. And I'll need to figure out using the insulated bags and also I can tell I'm gonna have to get a cart. So I may be uh, struggling today, but I'm gonna get started. I'm delivering three packages, let's see what happens. All right. All right, I need to find these before I deliver them. Quick is first. What a mess. All right, it's these guys right here. Hello, careful I'm behind you there. All right, this one's gonna be roof. Last roof. All right, first drop off is complete. I've now bagged up the next delivery and I found so far it's helpful to gather the items right now before I start the next delivery. So that's what I did, as you can see. And I am definitely unprepared, I can tell. I'm gonna have to have some catering bags, some large bags to hold all these orders, because right now, 
my bags aren't large enough to hold more than one or two bags and I don't want to smash the items or let them melt. So for now I'm keeping the AC cold and I'm going to hurry up and get these deliveries done. This is pretty cool for Amazon Flex. I'm happy and I'm so excited to keep doing it. All right, bye. That delivery went much smoother. Now I can see the process of dropping them off, scanning them, taking a picture, and then swiping complete. I still do take a picture in the timestamp camera app, and that's just for my protection. This next one is nine packages, so I'm pretty sure I already know which one it is. It's gonna be the one for Landon. Obviously that's not the name, that's just a uh, code. And JT, yep, so Landon, I already have them bagged up here, and I'll box them up when I get to the destination. All right, let's get on the road, get this delivery done. All right, that last delivery went well, the nine packages, and here's the surprise, and I'll hope the tips pay off, but uh, <laughs> it's sending me out to Malibu, and that's quite a distance, so I hope these tips really pay off. I, obviously, I've committed I'm gonna do it because I wanna see how Amazon Flex is, but in general, I wouldn't take an order like this, but I have an open mind, let's get going. Since we're here, I did go ahead and bag up all the other items in that are frozen for this next delivery.
to make sure it was okay before I brought the rest. Is it okay if you buzz me in a couple? If you don't mind, let me just, I'll s*** here. I haven't s***. Thank you. All right, well that worked out well. You can see I've got my uh, cooling bags and everything went smoothly. So overall it was a good trip and it's neat to be near the ocean. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Hello. I hope you enjoyed seeing all those drop-offs as much as I enjoyed making them. And I'm really glad that I happened to find parking just outside the apartment there on the Pacific Coast Highway because generally once you get into LA and it parking is really a challenge and I'm not a pro at that. So I'm grateful there was a spot and it only took me the two trips to get up there. Hi there and welcome back. It's been a couple days and the tips did come in and I'll put the screenshot up there. You can see that the base pay I earned was $43.50, tips were $43, and that's a total of $86.50. Now those are pretty good earnings. I'm gonna not include the $10.50 that I made because that's from Prop 22 for here in California, where if you don't meet the minimums that the state passed, then the companies pay you more. So we're gonna ignore that for now because Prop 22 isn't all over. I worked a total of three hours that morning, 8.30 to 11.30, and earning $86.50 works out to be $28.83 per hour, which is really good. I'm very happy with that and satisfied. For the mileage, this is where I was a little surprised. I drove a total of 50 miles, and having to drive to the ocean was roughly 15 miles out of the way, and then I had to spend 15 miles coming back. Now, once I did get back, I could have started doing other food deliveries, um, even though I was still far away from home, but I could have been earning more money. So 50 miles out of, that's 86.50 divided by 50 comes to $1.73 per mile, which is really good. Again, I, always try to get more than a dollar per mile, but usually it averages around there. So $1.73 on Amazon Flex is really good. And I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that those other orders, I'm going to be very selective when I look at them, even though you only have a minute. Hopefully I won't have orders that take me way out, far away places. Um, that makes it hard to earn money once it's time to come back. If it's just in the local area, I think Amazon Flex here is even going to pay more because of less miles. So I'm really looking forward to getting on even this morning and try to get another instant delivery from Whole Foods. Just to recap some of the highlights, I was unprepared for all those bags in my car. So I will get some larger catering bags that can keep items chilled. And it did work out. I used all my bags. But as I was delivering, then I would consolidate the orders and use uh, more of my own bags. But if I get some catering bags, that's really going to help in the beginning. I could set a couple in the back seat and some in the trunk and group everybody's order by name. And that'll help me when I deliver it. 
Another thing I learned, which is like in any new job, I need to slow down. Just take my time, look at the app, read what's going on, and not be nervous and have tunnel vision and get overwhelmed by something so simple as uh, the package is on the shelf. It's no longer in the freezer because it was never there. So I'll counsel myself, just calm down, take a breath, walk around, and it's gonna be okay. Just like the other food delivery apps, I'm really good at those now. I barely even have to think. I know exactly what to do, and I'm able to move quickly and get the food to those customers. So I'm gonna do the same with Amazon Flex. I just need to slow down. And then finally, as I briefly mentioned, I really need to look at the initial offer that comes up and make sure, if possible, that uh, those deliveries aren't really far away because adding extra miles isn't really helpful for your car. It's increased wear and tear. But even with that little joyride I did to the ocean, it still paid well, so I am satisfied. All right, please share in the comments below. Do you do Amazon Flex already? What tips do you have for me to cut down on my learning curve? And for everyone else, are you inspired by this video to sign up for Amazon Flex too? I hope so, because I like learning ways of making money, and I'm very willing to work hard. I've always worked hard, but if there's apps out there where you can make more money, and especially for less wear and tear on your car, I'm all for it. So I'm excited to try these different apps, and I thank you for joining me on my first ride-along for Amazon Flex. All right, until I see you on my next video, take care. Bye.